Hey, how's it going? And today I'm just going to show you something real quick and easy. This is what I call the Super Mesh, and it has a lot of applications. So I'm using this software program, Gaia. I think it's very reasonably priced. Uh, if you don't have it, I look at getting it. It's I think it's $79.99 or something like that. It's not very expensive. But when you first open it, you get this. It comes with something already loaded in it. All we have to do is just highlight this, click and drag with your left mouse button and then delete that and then we're just going to come over here to constant hopefully come over here to constant drag that on and then we got a flat plane and then if we come down here to it's called mesher there's a helicopter i live near a hospital and i can hear the helicopter flying by um there's over here there's one called mesher i don't know why i'm having a hard time but, oh here it is click and drag that on you just right click and make sure pin is underlay is on and then you make sure mark for exports on and then you just click and drag that over like that and then you just come to build and you just go you leave it on default and just go start build and i'll just show you i'll just call this uh, super mesh 2 something like that and then it builds out i actually like gaia quite a bit the interface is fairly intuitive once you have the basics down it's going to render out into this folder here so now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to jump over into layout jumping over into layout here i'm just going to go ahead and load in that measure object and it takes a little bit of time for it to load in but there it is and then i'll just zoom in and I reposition myself a little bit. And then if I go into displacement map, just click that. And I'll go into procedural. I'll just use the turbulence. You can drop down the texture value. Or you can just do the layer opacity and bring that down. And what you'll see is you'll end up getting a real nice smooth surface here that's displaced. So just repositioning myself, go into the surface editor, and I can just choose, whoops, F8, and I'll just choose one of the glasses. That's always a fun one. The problem with the glass is that it takes on the color from the environment. So right there, you've got a nice looking displacement. I didn't even have to really do anything. I think it's just because of the density of the mesh. You can play around with the backdrop here, the background a little bit. And as you see, as you change those colors, and the it looks very much like water, maybe like an alienish kind of, it could be some kind of primordial soup or something. But it's just a really cool displacement now. And I really didn't have to do anything other than just render out that that mesh. And once you have that mesh, you can just save it and reuse it any number of ways. So I'm just adjusting my position here, just seeing what I can get a little bit better look out of it. But yeah, that's that's really all I had for today was just to show you how you can render out this mesh from Gaia. You might be able to recreate it in Lightwave itself. I just don't know how dense it has to be. So I just like getting the one out of Gaia because it's quick and easy. And essentially that's all I had for today. So I hope you found this helpful. Take care and have a great day. And thanks to Lightwave Salvation for all their support of Lightwave during this dark time. Okay, take care and I'll talk to you guys later.